Now I'll show you how I created a painting of Kahalahala to Lumahai Beach. When a friend of mine asked me to do a painting of her favorite beach, I was thrilled to get back to Kauai and do it. I went to Kahalahala at different seasons and saw its changing moods. I decided to do a morning scene because I like the color of the sky and the water and the sand and the way the trees cast a shadow on the ground. Then I did a quick sketch of my idea and I was on my way. I had a canvas stretch to just the right size and brought it over to Kahalahala to sketch out my plan. In the studio, I mixed the colors that I wanted to use and put down a first layer to give myself a preview of my painting. Once I had my first layer down, I started with my second layer, first with the sky, then clouds, then Mount Makana, then the forest, then the ocean, and the sand, and finally the leaves on the trees. Then I got to start playing in the different parts of the painting. Here you see me working on the shallow water and sea foam. I gradually started to build up the rocks and then the waves. If you'd like to get a good understanding of how you can paint waves, you can get my painting waves video at patrickching.com. Using a subtle mist is a technique I use to create lots of distance on my paintings. The colors I use in the mist are not just white, but tend to be bluish or even purplish at times. Remember as artists, we're like illusionists, we're creating miles of space on a flat canvas. I like to set up my palette putting the paint on the edges of the palette, then mixing paint and working towards me. Most people in Hawaii call this a false kamani tree because it resembles our native kamani tree. But it's also known as a coral tree or a coastal almond and it has fruits that are edible. You can eat them. But as a painter, the thing I love about them the most is that their leaves change color to yellow, orange, and even a deep red. Rainbows start with a purplish color on the bottom, followed by blue, then yellow, green and orange and finally a red at the top. The biggest secret to painting rainbows is to get the color just the right intensity by adding the right amount of white to each color. I paint my rocks in layers. My first layers are kind of bulky, just showing me what is dark and what is light followed by additional layers of more detailed versions of the rocks. When painting the ocean, I first start off by painting its bottom. Having an understanding of what the ocean's bottom is like will help you determine what colors to use. For the reflections on top of the water, I use a glazing technique of putting transparent layers reflecting the sky all over the ocean except for the places where the little waves and ripples stand up and face you. And be careful, because once you see the world through the eyes of an artist, your world will never look the same. As you can see, creating a painting can be a really rewarding experience from the time you have the first idea to your sketches and underpaintings and overpaintings, mixing the colors you love, trying something out, seeing if it works, and the feeling of joy when it all comes together. Thanks Andrea for allowing me the joy of creating this painting of Kahalahala to Lumahai Beach.